to the program. We have some questions and discussions for 10 minutes. Uh, Professor Muchkun Dube, I'm Dr. Jay Prakashnar and may, may I briefly uh, raise an issue? Please. Uh, thank you, Professor Alag, for your very insightful words. Uh, uh, it occurs to me that there are four corners to what you're saying. One is excessive regulation to the detriment of the farmer is certainly not going to help the agricultural sector. Two, judicious support is required to the farmer because agriculture is always a, a difficult sector world over. But there are two other areas which I think are not discussed today because they're not directly related to agriculture. But unless we look at the rural economy as such, and look at building small towns, which can attract investment, provide services, create jobs, and give opportunity for people to work on the farm and also have the benefit of urban living. I don't see how 1.5 million habitats, infrastructure can be improved, our economy can be um, grown, or jobs can be created. The second is, if you notice, even during my lifetime, I'm much younger than both of you, both Professor Dubé and uh, you, even in my generation, when we were kids in the village, there was not this much of distress, not because there was no poverty, but because education and healthcare, whatever is available, people took it, they didn't spend money. Today, the biggest expenditure, you ask any farmer anywhere in the country, the biggest expenditure is for the kids' education and the healthcare. Unless these two services of quality are available to everybody in villages, I don't see how agrarian distress can be alleviated. I just thought I would place before you, uh, does it make any sense, Professor uh, uh, Alak? Professor Alak? Jamrakash, that's very important. Uh, as you know, we have discussed it in meetings that you have organized. I've written a book on it. It's called The Future of Indian Agriculture. And, uh, uh, you know, first stage processing, uh, transport, uh, these are extremely important issues, and I'm glad that you highlighted them. Uh, there is a bit of that in my uh, Durga Bai Deshmukh lecture in the text, but not as much as it should be there. And uh, I think it's uh, I mean, in a year of the pandemic, it is so important to recognize that as far as health, and education at the lowest level is concerned, particularly of the girl child. The state cannot pass on all its responsibilities to uh, the private sector. In fact, even if they do involve the private sector, it should be on a cooperative basis. And these are very important priorities that we have. Resources, yes, but you know, a small increase in the tax rate can take care of these priorities. So I'm glad, Jain Prakash, that you made both these very important points. Any other queries? And now I can, I would like to request Professor Monty to propose the vote of thanks. Thank you, uh, Professor Dube. Uh, thank you, Professor Alec, for an excellent and very timely lecture. Uh, you know, that gives us uh, even clearer and stronger arguments for all of us who are supporting the farmers' movement and why we oppose these three laws. When you said that what was more important was consultation with a best argument or best proposals or, or a draft policy, uh, I think uh, that was missing and that's why uh, this whole process has led to such a devastating situation and a seven month old more than seven months old agitation is still going strong in the borders of delhi we are very close to that both uh, physically and <laughs> and morally politically now um i think three very important points were made and professor Dubey has already mentioned them i think one is that uh, Trade liberalization, unilateral trade liberalization as the driving force in any uh, sector of the economy and the economy as a whole 
uh, uh, is bound to have serious problems because uh, the, the priorities are different. Priorities are not the producers and the consumers. Priorities are profit. Uh, and therefore, uh, I think uh, he, he, he put the focus on this unilateral trade globalization, which was uh, pushed uh, in the globalization scheme, but has been registered by, by many countries, and particularly G77. Uh, the second thing that was very important, and he is known for this contribution, Professor Alec, uh, uh, the, the whole notion of relative pricing uh, and uh, of crops, of uh, uh, production situations, of uh, uh, situations varying from place to place, uh, and uh, how that is not absolutely uh, kept in view in these three laws uh, and that is why uh, uh, these laws are very very faulty the third point is the diversity point uh, which professor dubey has highlighted also that you know this one size doesn't fit all uh, the uh, we have different i mean between gujarat and punjab i come from odisha and there the agricultural and the variety of Agriculture within three, four geoclimatic regions of Odisha uh, are, are different. Uh, therefore, uh, and unless we decentralize, uh, and and I'm glad Jayaprakash Narayan, in his inimitable way, added those points about rural economy and you know uh, creation of jobs through variety of means and health and education being the driving force. Uh, very very important. Therefore, the variety, the diversity of India, which can be only protected by decentralization and multiple stakeholders' rights being respected in a network of political, institutional, and economic arrangements. Uh, I think that is the message that Professor Alan leaves with us, and we shall be so proud to carry this forward. Uh, indeed, we, we remember our dear colleague, and friend Professor Hark uh, very, very, very much. And we miss him on this occasion. We pay our tribute to him. I see many old friends uh, uh, attending this very important uh, meeting. Uh, Barbara Harris White, and right here, uh, Sudanda Sen, <laughs> and many others. And some old colleagues, Rajiv Balakrishnan, uh, who edited the first 20 lectures of uh, the Durga Bay Deshmukh uh, lectures. And we hope that the last several would also be edited by somebody uh, and so many others. Uh, uh, Professor Kesbhat, our old director from the South Campus and one of the builders of uh, CSD on both uh, campuses. Uh, we are very happy. Uh, and so many colleagues from the South Center and elsewhere. So we are most grateful to Professor Alag for making this occasion really memorable. And we thank IAC for collaborating uh, on this occasion uh, and Professor Dube with, uh, for his very important remarks. Uh, thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Murthy. So with this, uh, uh, we to bring this uh, meeting to an end. Thank you. Thank you again there. Keep, keep well, keep safe and keep writing. Real, I really enjoyed your piece on co cooperatives the day before yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Great. So each of you.